Welcome back. Uh, this is Mr. Everything, and I am doing another playthrough of XCOM Enemy Within, uh, which is a part of the XCOM franchise, which I enjoyed. I've played it ever since the early 90s. Um, I've been playing XCOM uh, through the Enemy Within. I've played 15 missions, and the 15th mission was really exciting. If you haven't seen, or if you're just now joining us, you should go back and watch, well, you should watch all of them from 1 all the way up to 15. But uh, you should check out number 15. That one was over an hour-long mission. Uh, I had to do a lot of editing to kind of get that time down a little bit. Um, it was very reminiscent of what XCOM Enemy Within is. Enemy XCOM, I'm sorry, e XCOM Enemy Within is the second XCOM. The first one was really XCOM Enemy Unknown. And this doesn't, um, doesn't it's not a sequel. It's uh, more missions added into Enemy Within, or Enemy Unknown. And so it's kind of a sequel, but done in a different way. So um, I remember playing the sequel to XCOM UFO Defense way back way when was Terror from the Deep. And that's my point. The last mission, I had to deal with creatures that were coming out of sharks and, and, uh, and whales and... And it was, you know, it was very XCOM enemy. It was very XCOM Terror from the Deep esque. Um, there was even a comment by Commander Bradford that I didn't catch until I was started to edit it. That he said, uh, luckily it was a tanker and not a cruise liner. And I was like, oh, I was I busted out laughing the second time I heard it because in XCOM Terror from the Deep. You actually had to go on cruise ships and save the passengers from the aliens that were invading. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on. Alright, we have a UFO landing site right here um, in the U.S. And uh, I've just just put uh, Havoc into the gene implant uh, vats, basically. So she is not going to be able to uh, participate in this mission. Alright, let's go. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. The alien craft set down in a remote area. Securing the site is our top priority. As always, we should eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Sky. This was a landing, not a crash, so expect heavy resistance. Affirmative. Heading out. Weapons hot. They're trying to pull back. Got it. Move it. 
What we've seen so far, it was only natural to assume the aliens would have something specialized towards frontline combat. This hulking creature appears to be that unit. I don't envy anyone who is to go up against that thing. position.
moving. Confirmed. On the move. Double time! They're trying to pull back! Enemy is still alive. What was that? X-ray is the target. Get him next time. Good captain. Heading there now. Yes, Commander. Light him up! Excellent. Now we can begin preparing for the interrogation.
Roger that. Heading to that location. Catch! out there. Time to kick this sucker off. Cover the flanks. Watch the flanks. Light them up. Target Another stuck. one down. Ride the light, Commander. We'll consult with Dr. Valand for the requisite amputations and begin installing the cybersuit interfaces as soon as possible. Alright, that's my first guy I'm gonna be augmenting. It looks like it's gonna be Parasit. So, how'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely, but when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned, recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought patterns several times throughout the procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were- And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. Um, I already did that. This is the most physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the Muton. I can only assume there's a colorful backstory for such a designation. Infusing the bone marrow with meld will allow our soldiers to regenerate combat wounds while on the battlefield. The cybernetic interfaces are holding stable. 
but they're of no use without a cyber suit to interface with. I suggest we manufacture one immediately. When our new mech trooper equips that suit, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with its capabilities. Strike module is a powerful yet precise weapon. It can provide a decisive advantage in close quarters and remove the benefit of cover from our enemies. Commander, the Council is requesting a direct link on a secure channel. Okay, well that was the end of the 16th video. Now come back and check out our 17th video, which will be the incoming council communication. It's probably just a mission. And you'll get a chance to see our mech trooper in action, because I'm going to put Parasite in the field. Alright, come back and check us out. And thanks for checking out these videos so far, and I look forward to playing the rest of this in within.